When you need help or advice, you turn to your parents or a trusted friend for help. So why go outside of Virginia, your home, when you need car insurance? Able Insurance gives you individual attention and won't turn your way no matter what your driving record looks like. Giving same-day personal service in the state of Virginia for over 30 years. Able Insurance, 979-0814 is the number. AbleInsurance.com is the site. I want the whole world spin my record. Say, bro, you hear the stars. Check game. Stay free records. Ho! Shorty girl, fed the death in a massage. Bad news, even be massage. I got a city hip, I be massage. Pinky rings on my finger, I massage. I got a speedboat concert, cause I massage. I come and do about a whole kind of large. I be massage. I be massaged. I'm coming to a catalyst and massaging. Yeah, I post some constantly massaging. I got GPS, I be massaging. I catch broken fish, cause I'm massaging. I like a macaroni plate, I be massaging. Even oodles and noodles, I be massaging. Put out the ghetto, cause I'm massaging. I got ice around my neck, cause I'm massaging. I even go teeth. What up, 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 do? Welcome to the Ball Hawk Show podcast. I'm your host, Amal Hawks. Appreciate y'all rocking with me on this Monday. I don't know what what the date is. What's the date today? January what? January 14th, 5.34 Eastern Time right now as I come to you live on YouTube, Facebook, Blog Talk Radio, and it will be saved so you can download it on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, TuneIn app and amongst other platforms. So today's show, man, we're going to talk about Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray decided to enter the NFL draft. Um, so I would love for you guys to call in 760-695-1106 is the number. Again, I'll put it in both streams. The number is 760-695-1106. Let me know what you think about Kyler Murray's decision. And if you were Kyler Murray, what would you do? And not only that, um, just talk it through it. You're just going to talk it through it. Ethan said, how about that Belk Bowl? Yeah, the Belk Bowl was definitely dope, man. Uh, the Cavaliers smoked South Carolina. Smoked them, you know? So I don't know what, you know, what the narrative is now, but they can't make no excuses. Because when we got smoked in the military bowl, we didn't make any excuses. So we don't need any excuses from South Carolina and and the guys I know that played for South Carolina didn't make any excuses. I know they was without their best receiver, but but still, twenty eight nineteen. Uh, so I put the number in both streams and YouTube and also Facebook. Call in whenever you worry. I mean, not worry, but want. Uh, my man Chris West said Mary still has seventy two hours to change his mind. Um, I didn't know that. Um, I thought today was the deadline, but if he still has seventy two hours. I don't think he'll renege unless um and, and, and unless they throw that money around. You know, he basically wanted them to uh put up like fifteen million, I believe. I'll pull up the article right now so we can get more in depth of all the logistics. But you know, he did the right thing. He had the leverage to to ask for more money. Um they already gave him four million, so once he chooses to go into the draft, he has to give that four million dollars back. He better than me because I probably have been spent half that jank. So um, I wonder what the time frame is for him to send that $4.66 million signing bonus he got from the Oakland A's back. Um, I mean, the kid threw for 4,300 yards, 42 touchdowns, and ran for 1,000 yards also with 12 touchdowns for Oklahoma. Um, Yeah, they said he still has 72 hours doing what he can choose to pull out. So we'll see, man. He like five foot nine, five foot nine and a quarter, five nine, five nine quarterback. The only five nine quarterback we've seen with a lot of height was Doug Flutie. And um, other than that, the shortest quarterback outside of that was uh, is um, Russell Wilson. So um, we'll see what happens, man. So like I said, the phone lines are definitely open. Me personally, uh, 
you you got to go while the, you, you got to strike while the iron is hot. There's a lot of intrigue in football for him to see if uh, he'll be an NFL quarterback, and you use that to your advantage. We've seen plenty of times if if the Mel Kuypers and the Todd McShays have him in their top three as far as quarterbacks, um, I can definitely see a team drafting him in the first round because when you apply that pressure from the media, these NFL teams, they follow suit because they don't want to be that organization that pass up on a generational talent or a future superstar, future Pro Bowl, a future winner, whatever you want to say. Um, so, uh, DJ said Jeff Garcia about five ten and a half. All right. Um, offenses have changed in the NFL. A lot of majority of the offenses are in the shotgun, so it helps with his lack of height. The main thing about him is a certain wind passing windows uh, where you move him around in the pocket, and that's about it. We've seen so many quarterbacks overcome, so many quarterbacks prove doubters wrong. So it, it, it's a lot to be discussed with Kyler Murray. I think this is my man Darian calling in. Darian, what's good with you? Not much, man. Not much. Uh, I want to we... say, where JaVel at? Where JaVel at? JaVel better, so JaVel see, better I... call in today. <laughs> <laughs> JaVel so better call in today. Three. Three of them things. I know it's going to take some shut the hell up juice for uh for the for Philadelphia, but hey, I got to serve them three three of them things for those three losses. That's so you three and say, one, he's one and three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm about to say with the whole Kyler Murray situation, I looked at it today. I honestly think it's going to be the same situation as it was for Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson played really well all through college but got looked over because of his height. I think they're going to look over the same thing, and they're going to look at tape from the Alabama game and how he fared against a close to NFL defense and be like, okay, well, if he's going to be like this and his height's going to hamper him, like, we're not going to take him early. So I think he'll probably get taken, like, in third round, even though I know Ooh. people are talking about for the first and do want to try to push him. I okay. just I just think they're going, to, they're going to do him like they do everybody else that's a scrambling quarterback. Okay. Um, that's just my that's just my opinion. You know, All division right. is history, you know. I respect that. No, I respect that. Um and Deion Sanders said that in on ESPN dot com that if he was in Murray's shoes, um, I'm picking up a baseball bat and I'm not looking back. That's according to Deion Sanders. One thing about this uh-huh. Murray situation is that he's a quarterback and we know money is thrown around a lot at quarterbacks. If you look at Lamar Jackson, the last quarterback selected in the first round last year. Um, he signed a four-year, uh-huh. nine point four million dollar contract. I'm um, including four million, four point nine the signing bonus, seven point five guaranteed. Um, so uh-huh. it, just say he he got drafted where Lamar was drafted. That that four point nine million dollar signing bonus would be more than the signing bonus which the Oakland A's presented to him. And how I want to, I, I I haven't seen him play baseball, so I don't know. I can't speak to the to, to well, everybody the baseball saying like. Attention. A lot of scouts are saying that he's like a fringe all-star, so he's like just okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like he has the potential to be like, I'll say like uh, um, I don't know, somebody's just okay, you know. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of a star that's like that. Like the Upton brothers, like B.J. Upton. Yeah. Like something like that. Yeah, something okay. along those lines. May hit the All-Star game maybe once or twice in their career, but nothing further than that. But, I mean, he, he'll he still have longer. For me, I think he should take a baseball, too, because I think his longevity is more longevity than that. He'll have a more stable um, contract, you know, period, as far as, like, all of their contracts are guaranteed. So he'll have no, you know, he'll have to worry about being shorted out no money. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's just that's just my thought. And then the yeah, way, I'm, I'm the, way to... the Microsoft the microwave industry that the NFL is now, if you ain't popping within the first two three years, you can't just sit like they used to no more. So if you ain't popping like the first two three years, you go into QB hell, and you start moving around everywhere. You know, they do you like um like the quarterback we just had. Uh, yeah, I can't even think of his name no more. <laughs> quarterback, where? Uh, quarterback, where? At what team? At Minnesota. 
Kirk Cousins have tore up my whole, my whole, <laughs> my whole memory yeah, uh, of other quarterbacks. <laughs> I'm looking at CBS.com. <laughs> CBSSports.com has Kyler Murray going number six to the New York Giants right now. I'm going to try to pull up different mock drafts to see what the consensus is to him as of today. We know a lot of things oh, have changed. No. You think he's going to um, over, over, over that boy at Ohio State? Oh, no. No, 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 no. So, so, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. They already had. So, in their mock draft, they got Dwayne Haskins going number two to Jacksonville. But they got oh, Murray hell. as the second quarterback taken <laughs> overall, number six to the Giants in CBS Sports um, dot com's mock draft as I of today. Don't... So I'm trying to go to different sites. Go ahead. Yeah, huh, but I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see. It. I think they'll take uh, that boy from West Virginia. I think they'll take him over um, Kyler, even though Kyler was better than him. Um, every time they face each other, he put up better numbers, but mm-hmm. I just, you know, that height thing, man, you know, you know, NFL don't like that height. They like their quarterbacks tall. You got to be extra ordinary for you to be like Fred Tarkenton. Mm-hmm. The, quarter, the quarterback you were thinking about was Case Keenan. Um, my man, yeah. Jerry and Rodney, I'm going to say Case Keenan. Yeah, the one that was, you know, he, he's pretty much a journeyman now, but I mean, he's good. But yeah. You know how that goes. Hey, what up, so, man? I mean, if you ain't... What up, dude? If you ain't popping, yeah, you know. So, so what? what's the big... The, so, the biggest drawback with Kyler Murray is basically just his height. For everything else, is there any, any, like, anything with his footwork, his mechanics, his decision-making, his accuracy, is there anything that else draws a red flag or is it more so his stature? It's, it's his height and his, and his weight. He's he's a little guy. I okay. mean, the only thing that I probably if he if he come out there and run like a four three or a four four, I mean, Which he, he may probably run a four heads four. on that. Yeah, he's gonna run a four four. I said he'll run a four yeah. four. Yeah, he come out there and run like a four four, and you know he throw these accurate passes. The problem is when your when your offensive tackles are like six six eight six five. Uh-huh. You know, you got to throw over their heads on top of, you know, throwing over these defensive tackles and uh, defensive ends is coming after you. So he's going to have to drop back further. It's Like, like I say, mechanically, you got to be able to deal with that. Yeah, I, I think that might be a uh, – that might be a – that might – that might be with the right coach. Um, hey, so, uh-huh. I, keep going. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Think, no, I go think ahead. They're gonna have to move him around. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to set him up, kind of the way Pete Carroll does with Russell Wilson. So like yeah. moving the pocket, like moving him out of the pocket instead of him always being in the pocket. Like I think he'll be able to. He'll be able to navigate better than. Uh, he he's just gonna have to climb the pocket really well. Like his footwork is gonna be key for him because of his height. Um, but I don't. I don't. I think he'll be successful. Like I don't. I don't have a doubt about that. Um, and it it's just gonna come down to how he's coached. Um, uh-huh. once he gets how fast, to wherever he goes, yeah. How fast do you think he's gonna be successful though? Like I said, the temperature I, I, of his NFL. I, I, do you think you could just put him in and he starts going? No, so, I think so I think, my, I, think, that's I, think great, I think he needs to go question. behind somebody. That's a great question right there because here's my thing. And, and the reason why I feel like the NFL is the safer bet to go ahead and declare and go now and post to the MLB, because I looked at – so I got SB Nation. They got him going number seven overall to the Jaguars with Haskins getting picked by the Giants before him. What you just asked, like, will he be an instant success? Will he have to sit behind somebody? I think that's the great thing about being in his situation that he plays quarterback. He gets drafted in the first round. He get at least nine million, you know, four point. You know, if he goes Lamar, uh, Lamar Jackson slot, he'll get a, he'll get more in the signing bonus in the NFL than he would with the A's, and then he get to take his time, and he get to fly on jets and stuff, opposed to going on road trips and playing in the minor league. Um, so I think from his his standpoint, I could get the glitz and glamour right now as far as the NFL, and if it don't work out, then I'll go back work the minor league system because I already got that NFL money, and I could basically double dip. In both professional leagues, um, 
Jerry, what's going on with you, man? Hey, what's up, Ahmad? How are you? I'm good, bro. Thanks for the call, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I love your show. I think any sponsors that are watching this program need to jump on the Ball Hawk Show right now. I tune into your show all the time, dude. You are kicking ass and you are taking names. I want to give my <laughs> take on Kyler Murray, and then I want to jump off to hear what you got to say. Um, if right. I'm in Kyler Murray's shoes, I take the baseball money. And this is the reason why I take the baseball money. This guy can okay. have a longer career in baseball. This guy can have more potential money up front in baseball. And I agree with hmm. your last caller. If this guy does not have success early in his career as a first-round draft pick or as a second-round draft pick, then people are going to make him an afterthought, and they're going to push him down the roster. With baseball, he hmm. can take time to develop. He can go through the minor leagues. He can figure out what he's good at, and he can figure out what he needs to work at. With football, when you're a quarterback and you're paid big-time money, especially when you're a Heisman mm-hmm. Trophy winner, you're expected to come in right away, and you're expected to kick ass and take names. This guy has a lot mm-hmm. more pressure on him in football than he does with baseball. Lastly, big-time baseball players, they can have an entire advertising campaign built around them. And why they can do that is because they're not wearing helmets. They're not having anything covering their face. These guys can be big time. With football, yep. unless you're a Peyton Manning, unless you're a big time quarterback like a Russell Wilson, you don't get that same kind of advertising treatment and those sponsorship dollars. So what I'm saying, in a nutshell, and I'll get off and let you let, let me hear your take here. In a nutshell, Kyler Murray's money, his career, his longevity is safer in baseball. I understand the sport is not as sexy mm-hmm. as football. I understand baseball yeah. is boring, and it doesn't make the impact on social media and on the TV ratings. But from a personal standpoint, this guy can have a 10- to 15-year year career in baseball, where in football, this dude may be looking at a couple years out because of that height. How does a five foot nine mm. dude see outside the line? I know they'll take him outside the pocket to make him use his athleticism, but if he has to stay behind that line, that guy's going to get lost by those big uglies up front. Ball Hawk, that's all I got. I love you, baby. I love your show. I tune as much as I can. You be easy, baby. Appreciate you, Jerry. Hey, man, that's my man, Jerry Miller, man. Make sure y'all check him out. I love Seville also. He has a show um, mm-hmm. on Facebook. So he, he, he made some great points. Now, here's the thing that I don't want to get lost from my standpoint when I talk about, you know, Kyler going to the NFL post the MLB. What Jerry says is absolutely correct. Long, longevity-wise, baseball is the better ticket. Um, mm-hmm. I think it, it, it all boils down to where he gets drafted. If he's drafted in the first round, that's why I keep looking at all these different mock drafts and things can change. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what the machine is pushing. But if he gets drafted in the top 20, that upfront money is going to be better in the NFL. Now, the pressure to play is going to be on him. I just feel like if it's a, if it's a financial situation, he's being smart by trying to go to the NFL to get that quick cash right now before he takes that long haul of playing baseball, going through the minors. If it's all about the financial standpoint, if it's not about the financial standpoint and it doesn't matter to him either way, then I'm going baseball because I feel like the career is longer. And like he says, it's not going well. I don't think I don't think it'll be that much pressure on him, but he's still Kyler Murray. It's still going to be people like yo, where is he at? You know what I'm saying? So no, what y'all think? I don't think it's going to be pressure at all. I don't think it's going to be pressure at all with baseball because, like I said, baseball is different. You if you're not hitting a certain level. It's no shame yeah. in going to the minor leagues and then coming back up. On on in the NFL, you can get lost because there's talent that come in every year. So oh, no doubt. That's a, that's the thing. Like I know a lot of guys that are really, 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 really good, but then mm-hmm. didn't get the uh, didn't even get the opportunity to show what they can do because you go you go to a certain team and then you get lost in the shuffle. You know. So I mean, you you know, Hulk, you was in. So, yeah, that's, and that's why that's, I keep that's, saying that's, that's that's why I keep I keep having that little caveat like top twenty if you're a top twenty pick because here's my thing and I'm just gonna be very transparent with you guys if I'm choosing between NFL and MLB, so basically from my viewpoint from my standpoint it's about money because he went to the Oakland A's was like yo if y'all give me fifteen I ain't even gonna sniff the draft that's how I know it's about finances and finances right now so if it's about finances mm-hmm. right now and these and these publications have you going top 15 pick to me it's kind of crazy not to call it a bluff and see what happens because worst case scenario bro if you don't get drafted as high as you thought you would 
can't you just go back and play baseball? I mean, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you I think back, you now you might be gamble. asked out on both ends, but at least you, I mean, that's you, you, you gambling on yourself is what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, I think he, just, he, he, he got to have a good, he got to have a good, uh, combine. Um, <laughs> yep. I think, I think, I think he, I think he's, I think he'll throw, um, because he gonna feel like he got something to prove. Um, like as long as he has a good combine, he runs well. And he can show that he make he can make all the throws. Somebody gonna take a chance. See, that's the thing. I don't. I, I don't I have no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I said I don't. I got. I've been looking at the draft. Uh, the drafts online. The mock drafts. I don't know if New York should pass on him or not. I think that's a pretty good fit for him because they got weapons on the outside. They got Saquon. You get mm. him, and then you just you build up the offensive line. I don't think you mm. should pass on him because I think that's a pretty good fit for him. I mean, you know, but um, and, how, and technically how, he how is Shermer? Go ahead. That's the thing. How how is Shermer going to coach him like that though? Like, I've never known him Sherman, to really Sherman. do with no like real <laughs> mobile QB. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shermer Shermer can't. Shermer's gonna have they gonna they gonna have to bring in somebody to coach him. But the thing is, he doesn't have to get thrown right into the fire. So he, going to uh, New York, that's, uh, tough, that's, that's tough. That's tough because Eli is not, Eli not going nowhere yet. Right now, Eli is not going anywhere. So they don't you want, can still yeah. start Eli for the season. You know, let him get those reps in practice. And then once Eli, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Eli going to have a game. He's going to throw three picks. And they're gonna be calling for Kyler Murray, and hopefully at that point he's ready. That might be the first game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at an, so I'm looking at another mock draft, WalterFootball.com. Uh, they got him going number 13 to the Miami Dolphins, which I don't think that'll happen because I'm hearing that the Miami Dolphins may try to tank next year so they could get the boy from Alabama. And if I'm a head coach that's offered that job, they should have kept Adam Gates if they're going to tank. I'd be damned if I take a head coaching job in the first year, we're going to tank. Because that's on my damn record. i be damned. Yeah. Should have kept Adam Gates if you're going to tank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's, that's ludicrous right there. Ain't no damn way. So, I mean, uh, it, it, this is an interesting topic, man. And we could we could definitely talk about this a lot, but you know we got to get to the we got to get to the fun stuff now. Um, we got to talk about the NFL playoffs, people. And Javell still has not shown up. Oh, I did want to talk, say about one thing. My man Bean uh, hit me the game on this. He he asked me this like weeks ago. He was like, "Hawk, do you realize? So with this Kyler Murray situation, do y'all feel like he had a, he got an agent, right?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got it. Y'all know that, that I'm gonna say it again. He has an agent, right? Yeah. When he got when he got the draft, when he got draft, got that money. He had an agent, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Let that let that sink in. While I keep asking y'all over and over, what, what sport does he play? What what are you not supposed to have in college? Oh yeah, true. Ain't that amazing? I'm dead. He had an agent, I'm dead. though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought I could do is laugh, man, because I'm I, first of all, cast no aspersion. More power to you. I love it. But it's just amazing. They throwing they keep they kept talking about four point six million. I'm like NCAA, y'all ain't stepping in? He got an agent. Is it okay? Like, it's fine? Anybody else? They're like, Oh, you bought you bought him a, a Snickers bar? Oh no, that's a gift. He suspended. Oh, you sold your jersey for some tattoos? But my man got an agent. Four point six I mean, million. Wilson, I'm pretty sure Russell Wilson had, had an agent when he got drafted, because I think he got drafted before he went to Wisconsin. Yeah, that's he a great question. Do it now. You had to check the facts on that. Exactly. So Do when he, players get a pass? I, I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it different for baseball? Because I'm pretty sure if you're a high school senior man and your name in the, in, in the draft and you're negotiating, you know, signing bonuses, things of that nature, and, and, and your decision. You're going to have representation. Does that not mess with your amateurism for college like it would for a basketball or football player? What what 
what's the difference? Is it because they don't have the rule that, you know, you can possibly go? What does it say for, like, you know, like we talked about the ball, the, the youngest boy, LaMelo. What, what you know, is that, does that make still make him ineligible because he played overseas? Like, I don't know, man. It just had Bean just had my head rolling like, damn, he had an agent. And nothing happened. <laughs> it must it must be a rule that we don't know about. So <laughs> it's I, think, be I think it's just baseball. I think it's got to be with just baseball. Yeah, they got the best is. agent in baseball. That's he got the best agent in baseball. That's uh-huh. so salute to Kyler Murray, man. I I love when guys have the wherewithal and the savvy to exercise their their right and their power to try to play both sides against each other. What he did. With the A's was brilliant. You're betting on yourself to go to the NFL draft, um, and you got to follow what your heart says. That's nothing too hard. Russell Russell Wilson, we got to remember, Russell Wilson is not a small guy. Like, he's short, but he always been kind of like, you know, stocky kind of running back type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Russell He ain't never been no small dude. Mm -mm. What's his name? He's kind of small to me, man. Kyle is 195. He's my size. He's basically a little shorter. He's 195. He's the same size. I mean, I'm 5'9". He's 5'9". He probably, he's just, he, it's basically me playing quarterback, and I ain't playing no damn quarterback. Believe me. Exactly. Them damn D linemen and them, hell no. Mm-mm. Not on duty. <laughs> but for the check, though, 242, Omaha, Omaha, check, check, check. Oh, yeah, for that money? Because I'm going to go back to Lamar Jackson. I ain't counting his money. But if he fall to what Lamar Jackson fell to, he be getting 300000 more in signing bonus than what he did with the A's. I mean, if it's worth an extra 300000 then, hey. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the playoffs. And we got to start with America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, because T.O. said fire Jason Garrett. And from what I've been told, Jason Garrett ain't going nowhere. And he's keeping Scott Linehan after that debacle of being out coached by the Rams. Shout out to the to, to Sean McVay of playing smash mouth football with two big body backs, one back bigger than Dunkin' Donuts. But he was running that whole old CJ. What else can you say about that game? But they got their ass kicked up front. And I'm not hating on Dallas, but you got your ass kicked. I didn't see it. I had y'all winning because of your D-line, but your D-line got their ass kicked. What y'all think about the game, man? Yeah, that, that thing was ugly. Hey, man. Hey, you, you remember Glory, right? You remember when Denzel took his, took his, uh, took his uh, shirt <laughs> off and they were just yeah. whipping on him? And he didn't cry. Just <laughs> <laughs> had that one piece. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dallas. That was Dallas. Oh, I knew it was over with TJ Witt. When TJ Witt sat down on the bench, I said, Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, dog. When I tell you straight down hill, if you would have told me Jerry uh-huh. Gordon was going to throw for under 200 yards and the Rams would still win comfortably. It was a comfortable win. I know it was just an eight-point win, but it was comfortable. Yeah, it, comfortable. Was, it, was, it was real comfortable. The, the, score, the score ain't easy to tell the story, Hawk. Huh? The, they, they, had, they had – hey, look, Zeke, Zeke was out there half sleep. Zeke ate that go good old Chick-fil-A before the game. What's wrong yeah, with him? Have a, 30, a nice day. He, he had a 30-piece meal, Hawk. Huh? He was out there looking yeah. sluggish. Yeah, he had one of your one of your breakfasts. He sure enough did. He was walking. He was walking. He was walking down that aisle good with that damn picnic blanket suit he had on. Hell, all that money they make, he got that damn picnic blanket on. What the hell going on, Zeke? Twenty carries, forty-seven yards, two point three yards a carry behind that offensive line. And then you got people saying, "Why would you run right at uh, Aaron Donald? Like, why would you try to run away from him?" You need to run you out. Can't, you can't, and then somebody, you can't do then that. Somebody no said, game, then they said, you can't run away from Sue. You got to run out. I'm like, dog, you got to pick your poison. You got to run away yeah. from one of them and run out the other one. I mean, let's just call it what it is, man. They played inspired they, football. They stepped up to the plate, man. That D-line, they, stepped they, the, the, whole, 
the whole Zeke the forty seven yards on twenty carries, that's 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 saying a lot. Yeah, that's big. I mean that that yeah, Prescott that's... won't terrible, man. I, I mean, you cowboy fans be confusing. Why how you gonna blame that Prescott when your defense got their ass whooped? Your defense got their he ass whooped. He was he he wasn't horrible, but he had he had chances to make plays with his legs and he didn't do it. That that was really the difference in the game. Yeah. He had, he had a couple chances to to keep the drive going with his legs and he didn't. He didn't do it. Mm. So I mean I understand nah. what they're saying, but he didn't he didn't play a horrible game. He just. The game he played last week when he was taking off. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't do that. He was trying to be poppy uh, dad instead of just being that. He was being Donovan McNabb late in his career, and he used to piss me off. He was sitting in the pocket for no damn reason. Yep, that guy. Yeah, throwing up Donovan. in the Super Bowl. Walking down the but field just, like we got the lead. That guy, yeah. But if, if you break down the numbers and everybody love analytics, um, the thing that jumped out to me the most was the third down efficiency, one of ten. But the, also the Cowboys were three or four on fourth down. So two of those non conversions on third down, they converted on fourth down. But regardless, man, regardless, that defense for the Cowboys gave up 273 yards rushing. You're not going to win. Especially when the Rams are known for throwing. Even though the Rams have been balanced all year, if you give up 273 yards rushing to the Rams, you're going to lose. I don't care if you lose by one. You're going to lose. No turnovers by either team. Time of possession, 36 minutes for the Rams, just 23 minutes for the Cowboys. 31st down to 19 first down. Um, it was just a good old ass kicking, man. Like, I ain't trying to joke the Cowboys. You just got your ass whipped. Period. I know you lost by eight, but you got your ass whipped. So, uh, you know, where do the Cowboys go from here? Because they're going to keep the same coaching staff. Are we going to have the same results next year? Like, when are they going to get over the hump? Are they going to get over the hump with Jason Garrett as their quarterback, Scott Linehan, the offensive coordinator? Like, nope. their best coach coached the DB. Their yep. best coach coached the DB. Simple as that. Yeah. They said they extended Jason yeah. Say it again. I said they said they're gonna send Jason Garrett uh before the game. They said that before the game. Things changed though, but I, I mean I doubt it because you know he he oh, Jerry yeah, boy. They, he go he gonna he, do what Jerry say. He is Jerry's boy. So let's move to the next game, man. The Chiefs versus the Colts. That we game just, was we just gonna, we gonna have a, we just gonna skip that hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game a waste of damn breath. The coach is disappointed the hell out of us, man. Like, man. you got your ass whipped too. You got your ass whipped. Yeah, yeah, it was bad, man. Andrew Andrew Luck put a lot of it on him, but they didn't play well. And hey, let no me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. I'm sorry, and I'm a former chief, but. Dog, you threw for 203 yards versus that secondary. That secondary beat up. That's beat it. Up. I mean, yeah. good Lord. I know the pass rushes, you know, I know they was, you know, I know they was getting after it, though. I will say that. The Chiefs pass rush was getting after it. Not, I'm not dismissing that. But y'all play nice and trashy. They just further let me know that Andrew Luck can't do nothing outside in the code. That's what they've been saying. And that's the that's the bad thing about being a Colts quarterback. You either gotta go to Foxborough or you gotta go to one of them other Colts. Like if if you go to the Texans and play, you cool. If you go to Jacksonville and play, you cool. You go to Pittsburgh and play, it's shaky, baby, but you playing Big Ben, he's gonna throw a couple picks. You go out there in Arrowhead, mm mm. That shoulder one that shoulder was like nice and tight. Kyle Proctor, mm-hmm. pop this for me, man. Something wrong. And my, my, and my home's out there looking like a damn magician. magician. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, put a rabbit out of his hat. That boy, hey. I mean, I mean, he, he throwing the ball around linemen. He's standing on the one side of the lineman, side on mm. him and around the lineman, on the money. 
Still throwing hundred miles an hour. Eight two five front. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah, dog. He was twenty seven to forty one, two seventy eight. D Williams had twenty five carries, one hundred twenty nine yards, one touchdown. Mm-hmm. The playoffs. That is, it's look. It's a, it's a common theme. You are gonna see every game. So this game, running game was effective. Day one. Yep. We, we talked about the Cowboys and the Rams. Running game, day one. Let's look at New England right now. Let's go to New England. Sony Michelle, 129 yards rushing. And Tom, mm-hmm. damn Brady. Look, he threw the ball 44 mm-hmm. times. 40 of those were 10 yards and under. 40, I mean, mm-hmm. 40 of those are 10. 34 completions, I want to say about 32 of those were 10 yards and under as far as completed. Because they thought they was going up against the they thought they was going up against the Baltimore Ravens yet again and that dumbass offensive coordinator's game plan. No, you're going against McDaniels, mess routes for days, and you still gonna run zone against McDaniels and Tom Brady? Are you serious? You gonna run zone against Brady and McDaniels? You can hey, have twelve hey, DBs out there. It don't matter. Hey Hulk. They, they went they went eye formation on with the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the poor Philip Rivers. Poor Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers might have cursed yesterday for the first time in his life. He might have said it. I heard him say fuck one time. I ain't lying. He I'm did. lying, but I ain't he lying. Did. He, he did said not. he really he said he, really he did. cursed. He cursed for the first time. Yeah. We ain't got it on record, but he did it. He don't curse. He's hey, a look. Christian man. He always say dang gum it. But he said the F-bomb yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he dropped that a couple times. And he said, I'm sick of this like, shit. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah. He had, he had happy feet. Oh, he had happy feet. Yeah. Damn, he was Gregory yeah. Hines, got rest his soul. He was tap Man. dancing. Man. Listen, he was out there dancing <laughs> from the first snap. He was out there dancing. And I, I'm, I'm and confused I'm, on I'm, they didn't pick up that they, they was just sending one more that they could block the whole game. They they had ten rushing attempts as a team. It was just fourteen <laughs> seven at in the first quarter. I mean, damn, can we can Melvin yeah. Gordon get more than nine damn carries? Man, ten Melvin carries? Gordon won't go nowhere. Ten carries? He was, he was getting you got ten. He was, he was getting smashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was getting fapped in the mouth. He was. Yeah. He ain't even he ain't even really want the ball, you could tell. Damn, he don't want to fight no more. <laughs> he, nah, he he ain't want the ball, man. He was he was so, done after that third hit. That third hit in that a gap, he ain't want no. He ball. tapped out. Yeah, he was done, man. So, you could you could see so it. You got, the whole the whole team was done. They want tackling them DBs out there. Uh, what's what's New England uh fullback name? Uh, um, name? Burkhead. Or is it Devlin? Nah, nah, fullback. Uh, that James. man, listen, he was hitting that gap against them little teeny uh them safeties. <laughs> you got seven it DBs and think it's gonna work. It ain't gonna work two weeks in a row, T. I mean, you changed nah. the game versus the Ravens. The <laughs> offensive coordinator was a box of Ross. That's why he got the boot. No disrespect to you, fam. You getting paid? You probably be back in the NFL. I'm just saying that day you was boo boo juice, trash can juice, and then you gonna try to go up against. McDan- Josh McDaniels with that same defensive game plan, fam. Are you serious? Are you serious yeah. right now? In front of I mean, the one of the, the goat, as they say, and Tom Brady too. He didn't change really? nothing. He came out there nothing. with the exact same game plan. Same game plan. I mean, it was days out. It was like, yo, wasn't Bosa laughing at how the Ravens didn't change anything from when they played a couple weeks ago? And then you got mm-hmm. the, the Patriots looking at your last game. And you go into the game with the exact game plan. Didn't change nothing versus the greatest of all time, according to many and a lots of people. Not according to me, but a lots of people. Yeah. And he had 10, ten was, completions. Throwing, yeah, throwing here. It's here. Here, swing, swing pass. Here you go. Underneath, here you go. Scene route, here you go. Option route, here you go. Whip route, here you go. Smash route, here you go. You still gonna stay in that zone? Okay. Swing route, here you go. Scene route, here you go. Slant, here you go. You still gonna stay in that? Okay. Swing route, here you go. Then he told the girl yeah. at, the end, at the at the end of the game. Shoot, word is we suck. 
Then you got him on Instagram today playing 50 Cent and stuff. Tom Brady in his bag. He pissed off. He he feel good. He feel real he good feel, right now. That's, he feels real that's, good. That's scary. That's scary. Hey, man. With him going to uh, hey, man. Kansas City this weekend. What up, Darren? So, what I tell you about Philip Rivers? Philip Rivers. Uh, Where is your bell? <laughs> Javel ducking us, man. I can't believe Javel ducked this wreck today, bro. All that trash he was talking all weekend. Where is he at, man? Somebody tag him. Melvin Gordon got shut down, too. Shut the hell up, Juice. Yeah, he got Melvin Gordon. Nothing. What's well, I tell you what, I tell you what was going on. He said huh? he tapped out. He said he tapped out. <laughs> yeah, he tapped out early, though. Yeah. It was like that. It was that third yeah. hit. In that A gap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ten that ten degrees ain't no joke, ain't it? Yeah. Ooh, them hits are a whole lot different when that body that body cold, his body Ooh. weary. Listen, listen, I play defensive lineman and I'll tell you right now, them big bodies, if it's cold like that, sometimes you just like look man, you just start get carried away, like, look man, I'm done trying. <laughs> it's too cold out here. <laughs> Uh, like, are you I was, I was you confused because they they never tried hurt. to get him on the edge at all. Like they gotta, kept trying to run in the in between the tackles. They never tried to get outside. I'm just like, dog, he's dying he right now. I don't think he could. Even if you try to get yeah, outside, but you, got, you saw how he was running. He was too cold, man. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but you got you can't you can't keep giving him the ball going up and there getting hit like that. Like I, I mean, I mean the first, the first two, I was like, all right, the Patriots, they, Patriots D line playing good. I said he gonna break one, and then after that third hit, right there in the A gap, I forgot who it was. It was one of the linebackers. He came and hit Melvin Gordon and folded him up. I said, oh, he's done. He don't have, he don't have, no, he don't have no, I don't know if he threw up or not, but I mean, I mean, he folded up like an accordion right there, man. It was bad. <laughs> It was bad. He he ain't want no more, man. Hey man, let's go ahead and stop. Let's go ahead and stop stalling, T. We gotta go ahead and get to the elephant in the room, man. Gotta go ahead and get man, to the elephant in the room. The Philadelphia Eagles jump out to a fourteen oh lead. And after that, couldn't do Sean nothing. Payton else. Show started. Hey man, look Drew Shout out to Sean Payton, Payton. man. Yeah. But I, I, I kind of blame Doug on this one. And the only reason I'm blaming Doug is because if you look at that lineup when they was punting, he was standing right behind the center, right behind the long snap. Mm. He was standing, he won't stand it to the side. He was standing directly behind him. I'm looking at it like, call a timeout. I know you see it. Call a timeout. If he call a timeout right there, they're going to change it. They might actually oh, punt him we talk about the Eagles and Saints game, man. The 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 turn of the game, the fake punt when Hill was right behind problem. the long snapper. Hey, you gotta yeah. always have a spot on Taysom Hill, bro. Like even even though he's a part of yeah. the punt team, it's an alert on seven. Period. Because they try to get him the ball. Already. You see him do a touchdown pass, he got called back. You see he runs sweeps. You see he run. He had our DB beat and it got underthrown. Like Taysom Hill was a mm-hmm. quarterback in college. The dude is just a football player. Like, he can go. Mm-hmm. Run a legit fofo. Mm-hmm. Just don't care. He's not your average quarterback. He's a football That's why, see? See? Taysom Hill, prime example. Football player. He is, quote, a quarterback. But they run the ball with yeah. him. He on kickoff team. Kick return. He's a quarterback. But he's a football player. That's why I don't get caught up in that, and hey, quarterbacks winning too much. Football player right there. I don't care. Thank you, Taysom. Hey, Thank forget you. all that. Get all that. Here's where here's where Eagles really messed up. Eagles right now. Oh. Eagles with the problem with the Eagles from that game. They didn't have a running game, and you know why? Because they let go of Le'Garrette Blount. They should have signed him another year. Because they y'all damn sure needed him to um for this game. The reason you need a big back like that, <coughs> Blunt. Who? Aja? <laughs> I know. Le'Garrette I know. Blunt. I know. Jai got Le'Garrette hurt, Blunt. but Le'Garrette. Oh, Blunt. Le'Garrette Blunt. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Blunt, hey, dog. When you, have, yeah. when you have a stout defense like that, and you got blunt coming in the powder room for four quarters, to run that four quarter, yeah, you see Smallwood getting off, and you see Darren Sproles getting off because they tied. Or they, yeah. they look now, they want to hit this man no more. Then as you start establish, establishing a change of pace, you, you're going to have three down backs, um, which is what they had last year. You got to have somebody um, to come in because you knew um, Smallwood and, and Darren Sproles weren't going to hold up but so long. But so, long. so yeah. I don't know, oh, man. Yeah, then, I, I feel like that's – Injuries, injuries. Also, uh, being talked about Douglas and Cox getting getting uh, nicked up. Also, don't no, you know what he talking about defense? This would really piss me off. We play on this goddamn just just coverage. Just, I mean, I know, I know, yeah. a DB's supposed to be weak, but you can't keep sending four yeah. versus Drew and Sean Payton. They kept yeah. throwing. Look, the reason why Michael Thomas <laughs> was killing us because he was running digs, mess mess routes. Hammers mm-hmm. right in the middle of the field. Oh God. Right where the back was. Hey, yeah. We're passing all of everything. Oh, we pass off everything. Crazy. You, 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 cross us. That's all they kept running was cross us. So we passing everything off. Sooner or later, you, man, you, you got to just right go. Here. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of that post route that T.O. kept running in Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just kept throwing the T.O. all the way downfield. Yep. They couldn't do nothing about it. I felt the same way about Michael Crown yesterday. I said, so somebody going to stop him? Somebody. I mean, the man who ran the route three, four times in a row. Like, we, we just going to keep letting this happen? Yes. I think – That's another shit yeah, they, the hell of this at old JaVale. Hey, yo, is that JaVale? JaVale 540. JaVale 540. 813, what's good yeah. with you? What's good, fellas? What's good, fellas? What's good, baby? What's going on? Listen, man, I got a problem, man. I got a big problem, and I want to talk to you fellows about it because it's one of the few shows on this blog talk stuff where guys actually put on a helmet. All right. Listen, I'm an HBCU grad, okay? Graduated from a historically black college and university in Georgia. Okay. And I went all back right. to my college for the first time in a long time, all right? For the first, and somebody's got their radio turned on in the background, so the echo's terrible. You've got to fix that. Let me see. Let Much me see. Better. Go ahead. Much better. Go ahead. So long story short, I go back to my college, and let me tell you what I saw. Now, when I left, there was something called Freaknik. There was Black Beach Week. Things were great. You know, there was a lot of good things about going to an HBCU. You know what I saw when I went back? A bunch of chicks that looked like dudes and a bunch of black kids running around campus. They all looked like they had eyeliner on and tight pants. They all looked like fags. What's going on at the HBCU system, guys? When did, when, did, when did our people turn into queers on these campuses? I saw tougher kids at Slippery Rock in Pennsylvania. What's going on here? What's going on in Atlanta? Uh, anybody want to answer that right there? To protect myself from the LGBT community, <laughs> I will not comment on that. <laughs> I will not. I went to Norfolk State University. It ain't it ain't that bad, but no, I I refuse to comment on that. I ain't gonna get hot in trouble. Nope. Listen, Norfolk State is kind of it's it's a kind of it's a KHBCU, which stands for kind of black college because most of that school's white dudes. I want to hear from somebody who went to Howard, Grambling. I want to hear from somebody out there who knows what I'm going through, guys, because I went back to this and there was girls walking around campus look like they could play linebacker for the Jets. And a bunch of dudes wearing eyeliner, clad shirts, and a bunch of tight khakis, guys, and it made me sick. God bless. I let I let Kawhi I let I let Kawhi Leonard answer that for me. Kawhi, what you gotta say? I don't <laughs> Don't do it all. Hey, I appreciate I appreciate you I appreciate your call, homie. And um, what you need to do is go talk as to the dean as, or the president yeah, of the HBCU. As much as I'm gonna say, as much as we can disagree, I I know. <laughs> what is yeah, that? I, I, I was, yeah, I was where is Javale? Oh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad Javale won't on the call just now. 
Yeah, because he, he would have con- yeah. JaVale would have defended that. JaVale would have. Yeah. Where's JaVale? Yeah, yeah he, 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 he would have had to hang out I'm a black JaVale. I'm right now. Right. Hey, look, though. Yeah. You would have had food. He's still, he's still going to get the smoke because I'm pretty sure he's going to listen to this. So, all this smoke about uh, foes, right? On that path mm-hmm. to Earth that was thrown mm-hmm. behind him. Mm-hmm. Tell me whether you know or not. Since you watch all the Philadelphia games, but Wentz would have made that throw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of throws that Wentz would have made. That ball should have been. That ball should have been gone. I was like, bro, what? What are you doing? What? what yeah, Wentz might. Wentz would have either made it. Everybody talking about the foes, keep it, keep foes, keep foes. I'm like, mm-hmm. this game is exactly why <laughs> you keep Wentz. Hey. Because a lot. Hey. Hey, but look, so here, here's the argument you're going to get, right? So if you say Wentz would have did this, they're going to say, well, Wentz played, you know, the Saints beat our ass. But when Foles played, we had a chance. It's give and take, man. It, it just whatever floats somebody's boat. To me, I prefer Wentz didn't no have matter golden, what. But this, is what you, this is what you come back with. Golden Tate wasn't there. And, I mean, he didn't have receivers either. All he had was Earth at the time. Um, Ogre yeah. was hurt, too. Alshon was hurt. Uh, yeah. Aguilar was stone hands again for a little while. Yeah, like, come yeah, on, man. Let's yeah. be fair. You still yeah. got to be fair. Yeah, every we had three three new starters in the, in the defensive backfield. Hey, but, but real there. talk. But real talk, real talk, real talk. Let me let me let me get a Saints they just do. All right. So when we yeah, got a fourteen zero, people got excited. I was looking you know, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. People got excited for the Eagles. I'm saying to myself, we scored fourteen points in the first quarter playing against Drew Brees and them. I ain't I ain't comfortable Not at all. Enough. Like that, that's that's Not nothing <laughs> to them. And we didn't score from that point on. Like not even I mean that that was that was so discouraging, yo. It was just like, yo, dog, do you realize that third quarter drive took up like eleven damn minutes? Eleven minute 11 drive. And a half. It took up the whole quarter. Yeah, and those penalties too. I can't even I can't even blame them. I can't even blame them, man, because that was that was hard. Like that that, that that's hard. Like I you you go through a drive like that, and then when your folks go three and out, and you got to go back out again. Nah, man, that, yep. that ain't fun, bro. <laughs> yeah, that ain't fun at all. Man, I mean, keep the team. Keep the team. Philadelphia credit. Philadelphia credit. They did get the ball back, and they right. were driving downfield until yeah. that shot bird threw a heart. You know what I'm saying? Bird. With the bird box challenge. Yeah, he had a bird box challenge. You know. That's all good. Yeah, oh, Fletch, man. I mean, uh, I mean, when, when Fletch went you know, out, that, they, they didn't have a run game like the Cox went out, though. They, when, when Fletch went out with the foot injury, that's when they started running the ball. No, man. When nine, nine times out of ten, he makes that catch. So I can't even get mad. Yeah. Like, oh, Fletch. Yeah, I ain't mad at him, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have fun with it, Um, you know, at his expense, of course. But he, he's a sure-handed receiver that – when he finally made a mistake, it was just at the, one of the most, the most important time of the game for us. But if you look at the team of the playoffs, every team that was able to establish a running game won the game. Kansas City versus oh, yeah. uh, the Colts, yeah. Kansas City ran the ball. Rams oh. ran the ball. New England and ran the ball. Too, New Orleans ran the ball. I keep having these shut the hell up moments for, for JaVale, man. So, we were talking about the Rams and Dallas, today. right? I yeah. told you, I told you that a key, when a key to lead come back, all that stuff you was doing on the on the throwing game, you know what I'm saying, he going to make it hard. Oh, boy, he had that one that one little catch, and yep. that was it. He didn't do nothing else after. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they that had a red the first fight, game too. coming back. I ain't yeah. never seen Mark Cooper try to fight, yo. That that surprised me. Yeah. I mean, that's how I knew that they that they won. Had him ready to key, fight every chance he got. A key, a key to leave a rough rider, man. He like uh, he he irritant like uh, oh boy, uh, they used to play for the Rams back in the day. Um, not even back in the day. Not oh, even back in the day. Nice kid, dude, for the Titans. Yeah, the one that uh, yeah. Andre Johnson, Finnegan, Corlin Finnegan. Yes, yes. 
but he's tall. He's big. You know what I'm saying? He may not be as fast as he used to be, but he's so smart. You know, he's smart enough and had, and got that knowledge, man. He know how to he know how to get to you, man. And, yeah, he crafty. And I said, with him, I think he's just one of those fire guys. Sometimes you got those firecrackers in the locker room that just set, just kind of just set up for the whole defense when he's on the field. Yeah. I yep. think he that he that guy. And like I said, you saw the difference in the defense, man. I was like, I, look, I see Dominic Sue show up all year to this, to this game. That boy was nasty. Yeah. This game. It was ridiculous. And then, um, what else was I gonna say? But like, for let's let's talk about going toward the Saints. I don't think Michael Thomas gonna get off on him like the way he been getting off. Like I understand what happened with Marcus Peters, but I think Marcus Peters gonna be pissed off. <laughs> and then you gotta do a keep leaving the other side. Uh uh-uh, uh man. He, I don't know what I don't know what the Saints gonna do. Cause I think they go they coming back with a vengeance, man. Yeah, I think I think they can play on Marcus Peters' emotions though. Mm, I think I, I think that, that might be the that might be the key with him. If if they, can, if they can get in his head, yeah. If they can get in his head early, but that's what you had Michael a key Thomas. to leave for. A key to leave when they brought a key to leave, they brought a key to leave for my computer, so he can kind of a be that mentor, that guy to kind of keep you level. That's what he's there yeah. for. Yeah. Because he didn't play the so, first game, right? A key didn't play the first game, I think. A key to leave ain't playing a long time. Yeah, so, he didn't play when they when yeah, he played them. Uh-huh. So and Thomas you is not a burner back. either. He's not a burner, now so who? a key can still actually run. He's uh, Michael Thomas is not. Oh, he can put ha- he can put hands burner. on him. He you could. know that's what he likes. But, you know, yeah. that's gonna be that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a fun matchup because Michael Thomas is a physical receiver. You know, he welcomes guys trying to talk trash and be physical with him. That's why I can't wait for him to match up a key, but follow him in the slot. Uh, Mark is gonna run a lot of mesh routes, a lot of option routes, seams, bang mm-hmm. eight. He's going to keep them busy. Uh, but, again, it's all going to be about can you get home with four or five and who's going to check Kamora coming out the backfield. That's the one thing that makes the Saints hard, man, is running swing oh, routes. Slot, 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 slot. In the slot. Yeah. Slot, slot, like, Kamora's a receiver. Yeah. He's yeah. nice, man. He's special. Yeah, he is. But I will say <laughs> this, though. Um, I think – I think – the same pace that they dictated for uh for the uh, against Dallas, I think they could do the same thing against the Saints, especially after old boy Rankins got hurt. Mm-hmm. That was kind of keeping up that middle. I see yeah. CJ Anderson right up that middle, and then you let you let uh and it, this kind of works out too. This is kind of like one of the best pickups because you got um Todd Gurley who's still coming back from a knee injury. And I mean, he played well. He got over hundred yards, but you know, you can tell he still won't write. You know, so yeah. I mean, you let that man get healthier and healthier. I mean, that change of pace back and forth. I mean, how long are you gonna be able to deal with it? And um, Ty Gurley can line up, and Ty Gurley can catch the ball but as good as any other running back in the league. So that's true. Uh, hey, man. I think that's going to be a pretty good matchup. I think, he, you know, I everybody's mean, talking it, about, well, they're not going to be just as productive with uh, Cooper Cup. Cooper I think it makes you even more dangerous because now they can attack you in different ways. Different ways. Even with Brandon Cooks, you could come bring Brandon Cooks on reverses just like how they did with uh, Tyree Hill. I think they did run a reverse with him. He converted almost to the first. But you can run him um, to show him all types of different looks. So... Hey man, I I think it's gonna be who's more physical, and whoever the better team is, you know, I mean, it's gonna show. You know, you know, you know what I think it's gonna come down to. What's that? The same adjustments the Saints made against us. Like that, the first two drives they were letting our receivers and Zach Ertz get free releases. So it's gonna come down. I think, I think, I think that's what it's gonna come down to. How they, yeah, how they but, but you ain't – listen, golf, I mean, I think he's better than than, than Foles, bro. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. showed it. You give him protection, I mean, if you give him all day to throw, he'll throw on you. So, I think what's going to end up happening is it's going to be 
a lot. I think it's going to be a lot more play actions being ran, especially if their defensive ends is crashing in the way they're going to be crashing in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a really good game. It's probably going to be like yeah. a real close one too. But I don't think that crowd is yeah. going to affect with the Rams. I think. I think yeah, it I will. Think, that, think, that crowd affects yeah, everybody, man. You know, you know the the good thing about um, the Rams versus the Saints, opposed to the Eagles versus the Saints, is that the Rams can actually run the football. Um, we all knew that the Eagles will have a tough time running the football. They were just using the RPO just to freeze the linebackers because the linemen get up to two yards to push up the field before they can declare if it's pass or run. So that try to freeze them so you get those windows behind them open for those bang eights and and deep dig routes, but. The thing with the Rams is if they put in the belly of, of Gurley, you got to really respect it. Over C.J. Anderson, you got – not saying they run RPOs, but any play action, those backers are definitely going to respect it more than yeah. what it was for Smallwood. As yeah. the game progressed, you to. play action in Smallwood, they were just backing up. They was like, well, we could rally back up to him because, you know, he's not that true of a running threat versus – the other teams that we played, but when you look at the four teams that won the ball game, all four home teams won. These have been been considered the four best teams. I, I guess New England was, you know, iffy, but everybody always respected them. So if you look at the four teams that's, you know, vying for the Super Bowl, these were considered the four best teams, you know, in football this year. They they were always in the discussion of being the better teams. We knew yeah. that Casey yeah. well Put like this, the Rams, New Orleans, and KC were always considered the top three teams. And then you gave New England a spot because of the pedigree. But New England showed us, like, damn it, we still here. And between KC and New England, it's going, it's, KC, you're going to have to score damn near every time you have the football. Because the, the Patriots in the playoffs is a whole different monster. Oh, I understand, but, 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 but New England, when it's away from New England, I mean, we've seen in the past, you know, you know like you got a pretty good pass rush because you remember when he went against Denver and Von Miller went and, and um, uh, who was the other one on the side? DeMarcus Ware was tearing yep, Brady up. And, 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 and who was that corner too? Yeah. Who was that corner for Denver? A key. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they had Chris Harris. Yep, yeah, that Chris was crazy. Harris, yeah. But it's just that Casey don't have the with, guys on the back end. That's 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 what worries me. They don't have the secondary guys, so are you gonna have to use a well, lot of the Eric Barry, Eric, Eric Barry didn't play, they shot him. He got a calf. He's gonna be man. ready and they they saving him they saving him for next game. He got he got a calf, <laughs> man. That calf muscle and that cold ain't nothing to play with, man. I mean, I, nah, I hope he, I hope he shows up. Don't get me wrong, I hope he shows up. But Julian Edelman, mm-hmm. man, that slot, man, he, that's hell. That's hell because he yeah. got, he got options. He just going where you're not at. You know what I'm saying? If you shade the outside, he's gonna send you outside, and he's gonna just gonna show his numbers and Brady like here you go within eight yards. He go. It's gonna be, it's gonna be two, three or four yard dumps because uh, yeah. between D Ford and Justin Houston and Absolutely. Chris Jones coming up that middle. I mean, I think they're going to make it hard, especially it's going to be loud in Arrowhead. Like, Arrowhead is one of the loudest stadiums as far as when it comes to the NFL. So, I think that's going to have a big effect, man. And then the fact that Brady don't win that much at Arrowhead. I mean, if you look back in, the, like, like his past games, I mean, you know, Brady don't be looking too good in Arrowhead, man. I think the I was I think, surprised. I think I was surprised KC won at home because usually they, they give up the butt at home in the playoffs, too. That, I, was I, I was more amazed that they, you know, Alex, 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 Alex. 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 with Joe Montana, like that was just their history. You know what I'm saying? The Chiefs' history was losing <laughs> at home in the playoffs, like real talk. You know, yeah, true. Like all jokes aside, it was just that was like the history that everybody was saying, like, oh, Andrew Luck has a chance because the Chiefs at home over the years. So now it's going to be with here we go, Tom Brady again. But as you said. Tom Brady at home versus Tom Brady. How many times has Tom Brady really had to win on the road to get to the playoffs? I, I mean, he doesn't try to get that stat. He every time every time he's gone for a Super Bowl, um, a Super Bowl run or got to the Super Bowl, you had to come uh-huh. to Brady in New England. 
when he's away mm-hmm. from New England, he don't he don't do that well. Let me see I mean, his role play. play. You, can put, you can pick up the stats. Right. But Another I'll thing, say Brady don't Andy, be doing too much when he's away from home, man. Andy Andy Reid, Andy Reid, oh, uh, he owed Bill and Tom one. Uh, and I, 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 I hey, he look, play into oh. it too. He, I, I understand uh, with Belichick and everything, but them boys on so the Tom, field still got to play. It ain't, ain't nobody checking um, Travis Kelsey and, and Ty Hill. They ain't got nobody fast enough. No. So, all right, I got a stat for you for Tom Brady on the road. He is 3-4 and four on the road in the playoffs, and he hasn't won a road playoff game since 2006. Brady is in his eighth consecutive AFC championship during that stretch. He played a title game on the road only twice, losing to the Denver Broncos in 2013 and 2015. So that's the narrative. Tom Brady hasn't won on the road in the AFC Championship the last two times, and he lost to the Broncos in 2013 and 2015. What we say about the Broncos, Broncos had that defense that can get after you, and it's loud in Denver too. It gets real loud in Denver. They don't care how cold it is. It's loud as hell in everywhere. Believe that. <laughs> loud as hell. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Everybody talking about so, man, I don't know. We can't keep betting against New England. I mean, unless uh, but Mahomes come out there and throw like six picks, which I know Andy Reid going to have him straight. He ain't going to be doing all that. And, I mean, you've seen the maturity when he went up against the Colts. He, he played within himself. He didn't do too much. You know, so, hey, man, yep. I, for me, I think it's going to be the Chiefs and the Rams. I think it's going to be that, and it's going to be an explosive uh, Super Bowl, probably one of the most explosive Super Bowls we've probably seen in a long Chiefs time. All right, well, we're going to save some of this energy for Wednesday. We're going to save some of this energy because mm-hmm. we're going to do predictions and stuff, and hopefully JaVale show up. But my man Beam asked me to talk about Luka Duka. <laughs> The phenom in the NBA. I call him Luka Duka because I can't pronounce his last name. Gonna be a all at nineteen years old. What are y'all thoughts on Luka so far? You remember Dennis Dennis Smith Smith Jr., huh? You don't remember him no more, huh? Everybody was talking about him being being nice as a rookie. That's Westbrook. He went over shadow him. He took the team. He took the team away from him. Luka. Luca averaging twenty a game yeah. right now, leading the All Star vote getter over KD and Steph and them. Anybody got a problem with? I, I mean, I really ain't got no problem over there. It's fans, and he the hottest thing out right now. The step Luka, back king behind me, James Harden. I mean, that's until everybody figure him out. But when that's when we'll see who the real Luca is. But I mean, Luca <laughs> has the potential to be like dirt with with KD type of moves. Like I said, being that tall. And be able to move the way he can be the way he move he can move. Hey man. Six seven two eighteen. Luke Luca is like Luke could be like that, man. He get his hand he can I mean, get his handles up better than what they are. I mean give you twenty six and five. Twenty points, six rebounds, five assists. I mean, it don't matter who it is, and when it's when it's the big it's the big moments in the game, he takes over. He's a matchup nightmare because he's so crafty. He can shoot that yeah. jank. Like I said, one, if you employ the step back in your game, I like Kimball Walker, got dang on James Harden. If you could just hit step back, it's a wrap. Can't nobody do nothing. He clutches hell, too. Well, when, you, when you're that tall, it's, I mean, you can't do nothing. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I hadn't seen him, so when it came to the draft, I didn't know what to expect. You know, my guard was up because I didn't want to. Yeah. Buying to the hype from the I machine, mean, but he lived up to foreign, it. Foreign players let us down all the time, man. So we understand. He just was the one in a million. You know? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Porzingis is nice, too, when he's healthy. But, I mean, I don't know, man. It, it's just because of the flavor that Luca got to his game that just make him different. I don't know if he was Luka. at home watching N1 mixtapes or something, but... <laughs> I mean, this dude is second that. behind LeBron in the Western Conference in the front court votes. Matter of fact, second overall behind LeBron in the Western Conference. Got 2.2 million. LeBron Atlanta, got 2.7. If I'm Atlanta, do I regret trading for uh trading for your boy? Um, that they got oh, now hell from yeah. Oklahoma. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. Hell yes. I'm gonna keep hell yes. 
Atlanta looking nice and trashy <laughs> with that damn Trey. Because Luka is that damn special. Ain't nothing against Trey Young. Trey still gets you some way you get like 15 and 8. I don't whatever he's doing. But like you said, when you that big, when you that big doing that, what he doing? Hell yeah. Here's, here's, here's what I want to look at, though. When it comes to the all-star voting, so you got, I guess Kevin Durant number still making because they top five in the front court. Anthony Davis fifth in the front court voting. Guards, you got Derrick Rose number. So Derrick Rose going to be a damn all-star this year. Damian Lillard might make that, might not make the all-star team. Hell, how many all-stars is it from Timmy side or 12? Yeah, I think it's. Is it 10 east side? They can. I think it's 12. Like, they got, like, you know, got your reserves. So, got to at least, like, seven. I think you have to at least have, like, seven reserves. So, I think it's, like, I got to remember. I think it's, like, two that the coach picks or something. I don't know. Oh, it's 12. They said 12. So, Steven Adams yeah. got more votes than Joker. God dang. How'd that happen? Joker get you down there triple double every night. He got, got more votes. He got three hundred thousand more votes though, dog. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come Steve Adams been balling. I don't care what you say. I ain't, I ain't putting it against him. No, no. And I ain't saying he has it. But God dang. <laughs> and Derrick Rose got he more probably... votes than James Harden. What the hell? Oh my God. We gotta get these fans the hell out of here, man. With some of these votes. Yeah. Yeah. Lonzo Ball got more than Devin Booker. Get the hell out of here. You know what? You fans need yeah. to shut the hell up, Juice, for that bullshit. Oh, my God. And I'm DeMarcus Cousins. Lonzo can't even step up without, without LeBron. They nice and trashy, too. Let's talk nice about it. Trash. Lakers is nice. How Cleveland beat trash. them, fam? Cleveland beat I don't them. Know. Yeah, but now Man. everybody talking about some, ooh, this is why you can't win without LeBron. You can't win without LeBron. I'm like, well, the motivation ain't there, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, hey, so, I mean, you knew something was missing from the boys before he got there. So, let me see. Hold on, hold on. I know this is going to make my dog Bean Day. Kyle Lowry is on the bubble as far as making it. Well, he he be the 12th vote right now. He on the bubble, though. His ass is on the bubble. You know what I'm saying? They got Dwayne Wade. Uh, Kemba, you know, Kemba should be. Kemba higher than him, ain't he? Yeah, Kemba number three. He behind Dwayne Wade mm-hmm. right in front of Ben Simmons. Ola Depot number five. Kyle Lowry six. Zach Levine, seven. Jeremy Lin, get Jeremy Lin ass out of here. The hell? Chinese vote. <laughs> or the much Asian vote. I don't know. Much, much respect to them. Much respect to them. But get his ass out of here. God dang it. What's wrong with them? Can't get jiggy with this. Where the hell is Michael Blackson to be my damn Pacquiao translator? Can't get jiggy. Got some goddamn Jeremy Lin. How's the Marcus cousin even getting vote? They, they shouldn't even put him on a ballot. Are you serious? Look. I ain't got no problem with AI going that year he went. God dang it. But DeMarcus Cousin, get him out of here. Why his name even listed? Draymond Green won't be an all-star this year. Well, all my Draymond Green uh, apologies from last year. Where Donovan Mitchell at, too? All the people screaming Donovan Mitchell because Ben Simmons about to be an all-star. What am Donovan? Oh, Lord. Oh, Jason Tatum, number four. I'm about to be like, what? Is Jason Tatum made up there, too? You thought I was for the playoffs. Huh? You're not even running for the playoffs. What is what is what is Donovan Mitchell doing this year, man? Let me look that up right quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me go on my killing spree. What Donovan Mitchell doing? Cause all um, the people slandering my dog Ben Simmons. I'm trying to see what he doing this year. What you doing, Donovan? Donovan, Donovan, Donovan. What you got, brother? Oh, he averaging 21. Okay, he averaging 21. Okay, Donovan, you averaging twenty one, fam. No disrespect. You did your his bucket. Team, his team over his team overachieved last year to start the show. Thank you. They overachieved. Right now they twenty three and twenty one. They nice and trashy like the Lakers without LeBron. Okay? God dang it. If LeBron wasn't hurt, they wouldn't even hold on, what's the standards anyway for let me see what the standards is right quick, man. Cause I, I, I Javel ducking me, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause um, Wall not even playing no more, so it's Bill. We got yeah, yeah we got talk about oh, he, Bill. Go ahead. Let's talk about Bill. I mean, are they gonna make the playoffs now that Bill's running the show? Oh, he I told me Javel put out a post on Facebook that 
even though they still lost to Toronto, that the team played better without John Wall playing. That's what JaVale said. You know, cop and please. And stuff. That's what he do. So right now, so right now, Western Conference standings, the Lakers and Utah are both 23 and 21. But then when I go up to Ben Simmons and the 76 has, there you go. That Ben said, hey, matter of fact, Bean said, when is uh, Antetokounmpo going to shoot a jumper? How come he don't get a uh, dog for not shooting jumpers? Is it because he get triple doubles? I think <laughs> that, and then nobody can stop him. He can't, you can't stop him at all from getting to the – I think you can stop Ben Simmons from getting there. But uh-huh. when you see uh, – the Greek freak taking like two steps like to, get to get across court. Yeah, nah, man. Uh, he just one of those guys. I think is just unstoppable. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing about a person like Shaq. Like Shaq already gave him the uh, Superman title. I mean, damn, that's dude crazy. Dominant, he, he did do that. I forgot all about that, dog. Shaq wrong yeah. for that. that. Man don't want your damn Superman title. He don't even like Superman. He ain't from here. He don't know who Superman is. He think he talk about Soldier Boy. Uh, say Superman. Would you rather Dwight have it? No, never mind. See, I can't even talk about that. You know what I'm saying? We just hey, talk about the LGBT hey, thing. Hey, man, let's leave, let's leave Dwight alone, dog. Dwight, hey, Dwight is a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer, okay? We're going to leave Dwight alone. He only 6'9", you know? He, he like Charles Barkley was. He really ain't that tall playing in the paint. And he got broad shoulders, whatever that means. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I got some news too. Well, just about my Vikings. Um, they picked up Gary Kubiak. You know, I heard that offensive uh, advisor. Yeah, whatever that means. Let me y'all go run the ball more. Too. Yeah, let me yeah. y'all go run the ball more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard you. Uh, hey, Dion, know. what? Yeah, man, but that's all I got for today, man. We talked about Kyler Murray. If you guys just tuning in late, Kyler Murray chose to go to the NFL, MLB. Darian, want to serve him, shut the hell up, Juice, for going to the NFL. He should have went to the MLB. <laughs> me, me personally, I'm like, get your money, get your money, go to the NFL, have them overdraft you in the first round, get that check. As soon as that check is done, go right to the – keep talking to the MLB while you're getting them NFL checks. Do like Russ do, spring training. Go work out. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going to be a backup. Hey, get the best of both worlds. And I ain't talking about that old album with the pedophile and Jay-Z. But that's what you do. Uh, uh, Speaking of that, man, I had I, I, that popped up on my podcast while I was working out, man. And I damn near broke my damn headphones. That's what y'all got me doing with R. Kelly voice coming in my ears. I, pause. Um, super pause. Super, super. Kawhi. Kawhi. <laughs> oh my God, that was the big, that 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 Renee was going to end on the show on that pause right there because that would that, I can't come back from that. Darren, I mean, you got anything you want to say to the people before we get out of here? Hey man, shout out to Javale, man. Wherever you at, I gotta go. No, you need to talk Grease. No, talk Grease to him right now. He ducked you because we said be back here on Monday. Okay, he really left. Well, there it is then, man. Shout out to my dog, Darian, right there. He said, JaVale, you ducking him. JaVale, it's your fault that I had that pause moment right there. Um, but uh, Kawhi, always look out for your boy. <laughs> Anytime I need Kawhi, he's right there. As long as he laughs, I'm good. Ain't that right, Kawhi? <laughs> But uh, that's the show today, man. We broke down Kyler Murray. I looked at um, various mock drafts. The lowest I seen him going is number 13 to Miami. All the other ones, I only looked at two additional ones. One had him going to number seven to Jacksonville. And the other one had him going to the Giants, number six. So um, Lamar Jackson dropped to, what, 32nd overall. And his sign of bonus was 4.9. So the 4.6 he got to pay back, that's less than what Lamar Jackson got. So just say if he goes to 13, 
you know, he could get an additional million dollars for going to play in the NFL. He get that money right now. Then he get, you know, four more million, five more million in the backup or a bus. Regardless, then he could go play in the MLB, work out another negotiation. You know, Tim Tebow got a hundred, hundred thousand, a hundred stacks for his minor league deal. I know you get more than that, Kyler, but you smart. You be all right. You tough. But that's all I got, man. Uh, D Mac, damn, I just saw D Mac was on YouTube. What up with you, man? Uh, going to reiterate, Lucas is, is a beast. My fault, D Mac. I had the other screen up. I didn't see you on YouTube, dog. My fault, fam. Shout out to D Mac right there. Shout out to everybody. My dog, Wet Riley in the building. Yeah, dog. You came right in when I did, you know, the art. Yeah. Goddamn, R. Kelly messed up my train of thought, man. Hey, if y'all haven't, make sure y'all go to YouTube and check out that Nick Cannon. Um, interview he had with Dame Dash, yo. Cannon's class. Nick Cannon asked him tough questions. I like Dame Dash. I rock with Dame Dash, man. Dame Dash is stand up dude. He be dropping some jewels. He just he just very violent in his speech. Um, but go check that out on YouTube. And while you're on YouTube checking that out, search the Ball Hawk Show and subscribe so you get an alert every time I come on five thirty Monday through Wednesday. Blog Talk Radio. Switchboard is on. You can call in 760-695-1106, but we out. We done for the day. Shout out to my sponsor, Aber Insurance, service in the state of Virginia for over 20 years. Go to aberinsurance.com. If you're in the Charlottesville area, go to Rio World, Rio Road. Holler at Billy and Charlene White to take care of all your insurance needs. That's auto, home, business, any insurance that you need. Let that be known. They said, hold going to run down on Nick. <laughs> They got Hove out here molesting Foxy Brown, but y'all ain't here for me. And that's all. Hey, hey, I don't do none of this, you know. What's, look, Marvin Gaye had a song called What's Going On? Backstage, underage, had, adolescent. Had, see, BBD had one. You see that? Backstage, underage, adolescent. How you doing? Fine. She replied, I. I like to do the wild thing And we was back there singing that jank And when you break down the lyrics now First thing he said To get height Underage Adolescent How you doing Man that's worse than damn Biggie Smalls You look so good I suck on your daddy You know what Man I tell you what We need to revisit A lot of lyrics from back in the day Thank you R. Kelly Cause you you opened our eyes up. We just was, we won't woke yet. You, you was trying to warn us in 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 your titles. Hold on, this is a sports podcast. This ain't my rant podcast. Hey man, it's the ball hawk. I'm out of here, man. Just just don't even listen to this last part. Just delete that and subscribe. Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, Podbean, YouTube, Facebook. I'm out. I've been talking too much. Might get fired on ball hawk. Bebe, you got something for us today. Uh, rock out with us, Bebe. I want the whole world spin my record. Say road. You hear the stars. Check game. Stay free records. Ho! Shorty girl, fed the death in a massage. Bad news, even be massaging. I got a city hip. I be massaging. Pinky rings on my finger, I massage. I got a speedboat concert because I massage. I come and do about a whole kind of large. I've been massaging, I've been massaged. I'm coming.